School, Banastari Pura. How are you children? I hope you are all fine. Okay children, today we will, I will be teaching you maths and fourth class maths children. So, all of you open your textbooks children. In your textbooks, the first topic is revision. See children, open page number 8. The first one is revision children in this. So, 80, page number 80, it is revision. So, open this children. Today, we will be discussing the problems in revision. So, this is the topics which we have discussed in third class earlier classes. We will revise those concepts and then we will go to the fourth class topics children. So, first is uh, now fourth class maths revision children. So, we will see the first problem. Problem number four. There are problem which was a word problem children. Open your books and see. There are 487 girls. How many girls are there? 487 girls and 434 boys. 487 girls and 434 boys are there in class 4. Just like you children, in class 4 in the school, there are 487 girls, 434 boys. Okay, children. So, what was asked? How are, who are more in number? Girls are more or boys are more? Who are more children? Girls are more in number. Yes. How do we know that girls are more in number? How do we know? So, we, if a number is bigger number or smaller number, how we know? So, we first see the numbers present in the to the hundred three digit number. Till hundreds only are there. So first compare the number in hundreds place value. So both the place values in hundreds, it is four only children. So it is equal. Now you compare the number in tens place. Tens place it is eight is there. Here tens place three is there. So is three bigger or eight bigger? Eight is bigger. So four eight is So, is it clear? Okay. Next problem, children. 34 
fraction. So we cannot subtract seven from four. So we have to we are going to do one subtraction. So three. So borrow one from three. So when you borrow one from three, three will become two, and four will become fourteen. So fourteen minus seven. So here draw fourteen lines. Fourteen lines. So fourteen minus of seven. Strike of seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So count the remaining numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the answer is seven. And two minus two, it is any of zero. So primary teachers are less in number. When I'm sorry, middle school teachers are less in number when compared to the primary teachers, and they are less by how many? Seven. They are less than seven. Is it clear, children? Okay, children. Again, we go to the next problem. We go to the next problem. Problem third problem, children. There are one eighty three rose plants. So how many plants are there? One eighty three rose plants. One thirty-eight sunflowers. One hundred and thirty marigold. Marigold plants in the garden. Arrange these numbers in decreasing order. So arrange these in decreasing order. What does that mean? Decreasing order means arrange from big to small. Decreasing or descending means big to small. Increasing or ascending means small to big. You will ascend. You will move up from smaller number to a larger number. So that is called ascending. Descending means you are descending. You are coming down from bigger number to a Smaller number, so that is called descending order, decreasing order. So that is big to small. So which number is the bigger number in of all these? Which is bigger? Just now I told you, no. So which is big, which is small? How do you know? Depending upon the numbers in the tens, units, or hundreds, whatever it is. So it is a three-digit number. It is hundreds. So first compare the number in hundreds. One, one, one. So in hundred squares, everything is one only. So we cannot judge it by the using hundred number. So we again you go for ten squares, right? Ten squares, eight, three, one. So which is big, eight or three or one? Eight is bigger. So the bigger number is one eighty three. Next bigger number. Next three bigger or one bigger? Three is bigger. So one thirty eight. Next. One, one, three. The last one. So this is the order of decreasing order or descending order. One eighty three, one thirty eight, and one, one, three. That is the answer. Next, next problem. Two. There are one or two rooms in the school. What is the place value of one in the number? Fourth problem. How many rooms are there? One or ten rooms are there. What is the place value of one in this number? So one is this here. So what is the place value? So you all know place value. So we will write. We will write from the right corner to the left corner. So right side, the first place value is ones. Next is tens. Next is hundreds. So the place value of one is hundred. That is one hundred. Is it clear, children? Okay. Next, children. Next problem. Count in thousands and write the next five numbers. So I will give some example. I will show you some problems. Remaining you do by yourself. Okay. So first one is one four 
1.90. Count 10,000. So this number will how will count? It's count this 1,490. It's count this 1,490. It is problem B problem two. Till now, edit. This is B bit. 1,490 is the count. And now count 10,000 and write the next five numbers. So what will be the next five numbers, children? 
the last last smallest one is zero so we need to circle the smallest number so 3500 is big number 3200 is also bigger number but this is only just 3010 this is the smallest number so you circle the smallest number okay children one more i'll tell you 9345 
six, seven, eight. So what is the remaining one? One. So nine minus eight is one. And can we subtract two from one? No. We have to go for borrow subtraction. So five. We are borrowing one. So eleven. One will become eleven, and five will become four. So eleven minus two. So draw eleven lines and subtract two. It will be strike out two lines. So it will be nine. Nine. And can we subtract seven from four? No. Again, go for borrow subtraction. Three will become two. Four will become fourteen. Fourteen minus seven. So fourteen minus seven. Draw fourteen lines and strike out seven lines. So seven lines are striked out of fourteen lines. The remaining lines are gone. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it will be seven. Two minus one. Take your fingers. Close one finger. The remaining is the answer one. So one thousand seven hundred. Ninety-one is an answer. So this is how we do subtractions. So children, is it clear to this class? So we have revised the additions, subtractions, descending order, even and odd numbers. Okay, children, is it clear? Okay, children, this is all for today. You go through the video. If you have any doubts, pause the video, come back.